Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 12th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, where we give you a space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, world weather forecast. Starting out here, looking at our sun, 304 angstroms, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. As I did put out an, a notice video update today, we did have the Earth-facing solar flare and as well a CME, which was directed towards us. If you want to check out that video, link is right here. Just looking here at the last 48 hours incoming. Quiet when it's coming to the cresting side of our sun, but pretty active in the outgoing position as there is just another small flare Definitely not in an Earth-facing direction. Looking at solar plasma filaments. Stretched across the southern hemisphere right now. And you can see them lined up there. Black lines across the southern hemisphere. And as well that active region that threw out the Earth-facing CME. Very large. And then the bottom right-hand side there. Solar flare M-class. Another quick look at our sun as there are no earth-facing coronal holes to talk about, nor are there any developing. Just some amazing arcs of plasma and as well, fiery sunspot coming around our sun. Things are definitely picking up and we are well above the predicted sunspot cycles already. So stay aware and prepared. Looking at current solar X-ray flux going down a bit into B-class range, but you can see we're up at a KP5 index today. We're under a geostorm thanks to that solar flare. Looking at a real-time solar wind, as you can see, we took a few hits today. Bumping up. Strongest reported was 529 kilometers per second. We're sitting at about 400 right now. And most notable here at the time of the event, a little break in the north and south polarities, and as well the flip of the pi angle and a drop in density bunches. Having a quick look here at our real time solar wind in motion, looking at our magnetosphere in action. And as you can see there, it did take a couple hits today. Iswa here showing the space prediction spiral. As you can see, a small CME or solar flare was directed right at Venus. And we will be expecting that solar wind stream 14th into the 15th. Schumann resonance for today, a power of seven. Very low resonance today, quality of 7.6, power 22, amplitude of seven. Let's have a browse around the world for earthquakes, and we're going to start out with the largest earthquake of the day, which was a 5.3 right by Krakatoa, Pelabaratu, Indonesia, as well 4.8 there, Ritang, Indonesia, northward there, Tondino, Philippines, 4.6. 4.4 here, Papua New Guinea, 169 kilometer depth. Some pretty deep earthquakes here. Vanuatu, 4.4. Levuka, 524 kilometer depth, 529 kilometer depth. 5.2 there, Kermadec Islands as well, notable. 3.4 here, Hastings, New Zealand, 2 kilometer depth. Carrying on here up into Huyen City, Taiwan, 4.1. Very quiet through Japan. 4.9 here, Starry Russia, 35 kilometer depth, as well as 5.1 here, rang out in Nikiski, Alaska, 88 kilometer depth. Did They did put out a tsunami watch, Pacific Disaster Center, but no tsunami is imminent. 3.3 here reported, Hawaii, as well a couple right atop Mauna Loa right now. Not much has changed in the Kilauea summit. Looking across the United States, Largest being here is Stanley, Idaho, 3.3, as well, 3.3 there, White City, New Mexico, 
minor earthquakes, no swarms to talk about through California, sitting at about 240 earthquakes across the USGS map the last 24 hours. But Mexico into Guatemala, definitely a situation. What's happening in Mexico? Not sure, but we have many active volcanoes throughout this region. 4.4 to 4.2 today. Quite a few rumblers through the Caribbean plate. Puerto Rico, largest seeing a 3.8 as well as 3.6. Overlooking South America from San Fernando, Peru. To southern Peru, a couple pretty deep earthquakes, 4.5s, 200 kilometer depth, as well as sizable 5.1 here at Chile, 10 kilometer depth, and a 4.4 even further south, Chile. Labu, 10 kilometer depth. As well as South Sandwich Island saw some action today, 5.2, 10 kilometer depth north of the Michael Volcano, followed by a 4.9 east of the volcano. As well as Zambia yesterday reporting a 4.7 and a 4.5 here, pretty rare earthquake, France. And that's the last 24 hours around the world for earthquakes. Let's have a quick look, browse the last seven days. Let's have a look at Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery around the world as well noting out the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Checking out Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia just recently as well Fuego, Guatemala, Sabancaya, Peru, Sangue in Ecuador, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Reventador in Ecuador, Ibu, Indonesia, Semeru, Indonesia, Nevados to Chilean, Colombia. So that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today. And we still have an active and erupting 50 across the world. Looking at many flood alerts across the central and southeastern United States. Winter storm conditions northeastern as well as southern Quebec. Flood alerts through Florida. Tornado watches and warnings have ceased through the state. Looking across the Pacific, pretty large systems developing in the northern Pacific. Long atmospheric line of moisture already forecasted there. But look at the line of moisture here in the southern hemisphere. That is a whole lot of moisture. Right from Papua New Guinea down to the Arctic or the Antarctic. As well, we have Cyclone Gombe who is still cycling and churning up the eastern African coast and still extreme cold conditions western parts of Europe. Now let's have a look at our next five-day forecast brought to you by VentuSky and as well daily events worldwide. Pretty big system heading through the Atlantic provinces Friday into Saturday. This is how it looks. Pretty strong winds and as well snowy conditions, blustery, and a lot of rain ahead of it. Alberta Clipper coming into Ontario this week as well. The snow is persisting across the Pacific Northwest United States. Another Alberta Clipper dipping south there into Central United States. We'll get a small dusting of snow from that as well next Tuesday. But then you've got a lot of moisture here coming into the BC coastline for the next few days. So heads up. And then Wednesday into Thursday, we've got quite a big system here developing and roaring up the east coast. 
and then quite possibly another stronger system to follow. So heads up and stay tuned. Daily events worldwide. Overlooking Europe, watch for a pretty large low pressure center to head into coastlines of southern Ireland. Moving northward. So extreme weather conditions for Ireland and the United Kingdom. But also watch for a pretty big system to head into Spain over the next few days. Very large low right there. So watch for extreme weather to break out across Spain and as well northern parts of Africa. Overlooking Africa, Madagascar, Cyclone Gombe still bringing in tons of moisture into parts of Mozambique and Zimbabwe. As well, another low just north of Madagascar just kind of sitting there, funneling in quite a bit of moisture to parts of Madagascar over the next few days. Overlooking Southeast Asia, no major weather systems to talk about. Indonesia, Malaysia, daily evaporation rains. Northern Australia, watch for rain heading into Northern Territory. As well, rain heading out of southeastern parts over the next couple days. Other than that, no cyclones and no other major weather events that are forecasted here for the next few days. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times through Argentina, Brazil border. And that's Friday into Saturday next week. Man, we are just clipping through 2022 already. Going to leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere. Pointing out the major system that's going to be heading through the Atlantic this week. Watch for a weather bomb to form. Quite possibly penetrating Greenland, Iceland over the next few days. Very strong system developing. Overlooking windy here for the next few days. Cyclone bomb for Iceland. Huge system developing here. Look at the forecast Monday to Tuesday and then, yeah, watch for all those strong winds and rains to head into Western Europe and as well feed the big low that's heading into Spain this week. And here's a quick look at our upper level winds. This is at 10,000 feet. Something is very strange here. This is 2022 and look at these jet streams. Look at all of the directions there are in the Northern Hemisphere right now. This is not normal. Compared to 2021, which I will show the comparison, something's not right. Again, thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.